All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, Jeremy Johnson here with the Journey Home Realty for part three of the September market update for you. Um, alluded to this a lot in part two, um, but why the importance of pricing it right, as this slide says here. Um, and I know I give you a little peek under the curtain uh, quite a bit in part two, but it's extremely important that you understand um, what the market in the area says. Not what um, all these other websites say your house is worth, but having a trusted advisor run a market analysis for you and tell you what the market price is and give you advice so you're educated in the process on what's going on. Um, that you have an agent and, and that you also understand your motivation and your time frame. Those drive the factors in. Do I need to sell quick? Do I have you know a bunch of time? Um, do I want to let it sit on the market and try to get top dollar? Well, kind of point to a couple other examples of why that's not necessarily the best strategy, but you got to understand your motivations and, and the agent that you're working with needs to under, understand your motivations as well too. Um, but we need to be realistic more, more now than ever. It's not 2021, 2022. We just throw the house on the market and it would sell in two or three days, you know, at top dollar with, you know, five, six, seven offers and they're waiving all contingencies, as many contingencies that, that they can. Um, so we want to avoid prolonged listings um, and also understanding um that home prices are moderating. Um, in January of 22, we were seeing an all-time high appreciation of you know 18, 19, 20 percent from uh, month over month on house appreciation. Where we're at today is depending on where you're at, but in that three to five percent range, which is a really healthy range of appreciation, you're still making. And I told you, I've said this before: is um, I don't know many investments where you'll get three to five percent, and sometimes even higher if the market kind of goes a little crazy um, on an investment which is why we we're so passionate about real estate and, and and getting people into houses not for our bottom dollar as much as it is the generational wealth that, that it can provide for you and your family um, but uh, so important to understand that where we're at today um, none of the price reductions that they were saying before the year started um, that we, house house the housing market's going to crash and and things like that we're still at that three to five percent appreciation rate nationwide which is extremely healthy and i think this slide here uh says it perfectly it's a good, real, real good foot stomper here it says homes price right are selling very quickly uh but homes priced too high are deterring perspective buyers saying, and if you got the price too high there's other ones on the market that the buyers because of the supply and demand issue and they're going to go look towards uh, next slide i want to show you here is i'm going to leave it up here i'm not going to read it verbatim to you but this really kind of and it captures all of um, episode three here. I think it's a really good site picture. I even took a picture on my phone. And I'll show all prospective sellers uh, the, portion, the importance of pricing. Um, it says why pricing ma uh, right matters. And there actually is a point where you're pricing it too low. If you price it too low, um, individuals are thinking, what's wrong with it? Um, um, has it lost value? Has it decreased? You know, what, what's going on with it? Um, and then you price it too high. And we've talked about it already uh, in length. Um, it says on the market longer. Um, there's other ones that, that buyers are going to go see. Um, deters potential buyers and price drops send the wrong message. Um, you know, we, you don't want to get in the place where I'm going to start really high and I'll just price drop it because there's actually algorithms uh, that, that are used and um, all the all the sites that we uh, advertise to, in, in, including Rain MLS, that uh, identify house, houses that uh, the first seven to 10 days is when they're considered new. And as they get past 10 days, they kind of start dropping down the feed a little bit and they're not showing up on your Instagram feeds as much and not showing up on the Facebook feeds. Um, so, and if you don't know, it takes 90 days before we can withdraw it from the market. So we can't start at this, or we shouldn't start at this high price. Um, and then in 15, 20 days, you know, didn't do a price decrease because it's still at that 15 to 20 days and the dates, days on market uh, uh, continue to, to rise. Um, so buyers see that and, and think something's wrong with it or that it's priced too high. So um, that fair market value right in the middle or market value as they call it is ideally where we want to, where we want to start. And I said it before, or just a hair underneath it and try to attract the buyers in, uh, get m uh, multiple buyers into the house. Um, you know, as we have pretty good luck with it, uh, then resulting in uh, multiple offers. So, um, uh, but that, that this slide really does uh, the say it all. Slide here, last slide um, says by U.S. News, um, setting unrealistic high prices with the idea that you can come down later doesn't work in real estate. Um, at a, a home that's overpriced in the beginning tends to stay on the market longer. We've said that multiple times. And even after the price is cut because buyers think there's something wrong with it.
So as I was already saying, I got it. We stick with the fact-based, uh, data-driven. You know, not what, not our opinion of things, uh, but what experts and economists are saying. Um, so. Um, Hope this information was helpful for you, um, you know, with the market kind of going in different places. And, and as I said in, in episode one or episode two, uh, knowing what market you're in, is it a buyer's market, is it a seller's market, is it a neutral market? Um, and, and reaching out to a trusted advisor if in the Hampton Roads area or if you're, you're in the Hampton Roads area and you're PCSing somewhere, uh, reach out to us. We'd love to be able to educate you on the process, find you an agent wherever you're going. Um, and just so you can find somebody that is going to educate you on the market that you're in, not just sell, sell a product to you. That's what's most important to us. That's what keeps me up at night is just, I want to make sure that we're educating you. So you have fact-based data-driven information to make an educated decision that works for you and your family, uh, and your budget. So, um, thank you for tuning in this month for the September market update report. Um, while they're starting to cool down football seasons here, if that's your thing, uh, we've got my Niners one on Monday night, got our tab high school team that's want to know and but uh, just wish everybody good luck on whatever fall sport you're playing or whatever fall thing you're doing halloween around the corner weather cooling down so stay blessed and stay safe we appreciate you and we'll see you next month thanks Bye.